welcome dear students to this program dear students today we are going to discuss from class 9 mathematics book about circle from chapter 10 this is part 9 in this part we are going to recapitulate what we have studied earlier let's see what we have studied first we learn about different terms related to circle those are chords, arcs, in arcs we have two types of arcs that is minor arcs, major arcs, then segments, here also we have two types of segments that is minor segment and major segment, then if both the arcs are equal then we have semicircle and if the both segments are equal then we have semicircular region. Apart from that we have some more terms here also that is angle subtended by a chord at the center and angle subtended by a chord at any point on the circle and relating to these terms we have some theorems those theorems states about some properties and facts about circle see the first theorem says that equal chords of a circle subtend equal angles at the center and its converse is like this if the angles subtended by the chords of a circle at the center are equal then the chords are equal the next theorem states the perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord and what is its converse its converse says that line drawn through the center of circle to bisect a chord is perpendicular to the chord. Now another theorem states there is one and only one circle passing through three given non-collinear points. That means that circle which passes through three non-collinear points is a unique circle. Now you see equal chords of a circle or of congruent circles are equidistant from the center or their centers. Here by congruent circles we mean the circles having same, um, same length of radius. So this converse of these statements uh, says that chords equidistant from the center of a circle are equal in length and next one is the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle angles in the same segment of a circle are equal and its converse is if a line segment joining two points subtends equal angles at two other points lying on the same side of the line containing the line segment the four points lie on a circle that is they are concyclic and next is very popular one the sum of either pair of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degree here also we know the definition of cyclic quadrilateral that if the vertices of a quadrilateral lies or lie on the uh, circle then the circle is said to be a cyclic quadrilateral and its converse statements says that if the sum of a pair of opposite angles of a quadrilateral is 180 degree the quadrilateral is cyclic and basing on this we have solved many problems today we are going to solve some more problems one is like this in the given figure angle EBC is equal to 64 degree and AC is parallel to ED find angle DEC angle ACD and angle CDE in this question we have a circle its center is O 
AC is the diameter. We have a triangle BEC such that angle B is 64 degree. ED is a line which is parallel to AC. So given AC is diameter in triangle BC angle B equal to 64 degree and ED is parallel to AC. To find, we have to find the angles DEC, angle ACD and angle CDE. Now, let's join AE. Construction. Let's join A. Now, in triangle AEC, AEC angle is 90 degree because AC is diameter and AEC is the angle subtended in the semicircle. Again, EBC is equal to EAC because these two are on the same segment. So we can write angle EAC is equal to angle EBC equal to 64 degree Why angles subtended in the same segment. So, in triangle AEC, angle AEC is equal to 90 degree. Why? Angle in semicircle. This is angle in the semicircle. So, hence angle EAC plus angle ACE is equal to 90 degree. If this is right triangle, right angle triangle, sum of the other two angle, angles is 90 degree. From this, we know that EAC is 64 degree. So, we can write 64 degree plus angle ACE is equal to 90 degree. That gives angle ACE is equal to 90 degree minus 64 degree that is 26 degree. So, we have angle ACE to be 26 degree. Now, AC is parallel to ED and CE is transversal. Then what happens? This implies angle ACE is equal to angle CED. Alternate interior angles. As we know, SCE is 26 degree, so CD also 26 degree. So from this solution, we get angle CED 
or DEC is equal to 26 degree. Now let us see. Now, A E D, let us find A E D. Angle A E D is equal to angle A E C plus angle C D. And what is A E C? A E C is 90 degree and C D is 26 degree that is 116 degree. So, AED becomes 116 degree. We have to find angle ACD. So, if we join CD, we can get AEDC to be a cyclic collateral. So, as AEDC is a cyclic collateral. This implies angle A E D plus angle A C D is equal to 180 degree. What is A E D? A E D is 116 degree. So, 116 degree plus angle A C D is equal to 180 degree and this gives angle A C D is equal to 180 degree minus 116 degree that is 64 degree. So, we have angle ACD as 64 degree. So, this is 64 degree. Then what about CDE? CDE. Again CDE is opposite side of the cyclic opposite angles of the cyclic quadrilateral that is EAC and CDE are opposite to each other and we know the value of EAC. So, again in cyclic quadrilateral A E D C angle E A C plus angle E D C equal to 180 degree and we know the value of E A C is 64 degree. So, 64 degree plus E C D E D C is equal to 180 degree and this gives angle EDC is equal to 180 degree minus 64 degree that is 116 degree. That means EDC is same as CDE this is equal to 116 degree. Thus by using this cyclic collateral property and the properties of angles subtended in the same segment, we could solve this question. Now, let us have another look to this question. In this figure, we have to find the sum of angle ABC and angle CDE. See, in this circle, AE is the diameter. and O is the center. We have the sides of like this A, B, C, D. Here is a pentagon. We have to find the sum of the angles A, B, C and C, D, E. So, to find 
एंगल ए बी सी प्लस एंगल सी डी ई नेट्स हैव ए कंस्ट्रक्शन सी जॉन बी नाउ यू सी एंगल ए बी ई इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री वाय एंगल सबटेडेड इन ए सेमी सर्कल सो ना यू सी बी सी डी इज ए सैक्लिक क्वालेट्रल सो इन सैक्लिक क्वालेट्रल क्वाड्रिलेट्रल एंगल ई बी सी एंगल ई बी सी हुई इज अपोजिट ऑफ दिस ऑपोजिट ऑफ एंगल बी इज एंगल सी डी ई सो यू कैन राइट एंगल सी डी ई सो एंगल ई बी सी प्लस एंगल सी डी ई इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री नाउ लेट्स कम टू आवर क्वेश्चन एंगल ए बी सी प्लस एंगल सी डी ई इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए बी सी कैन बी रिटर्न एज एंगल ए बी ई प्लस एंगल ई बी सी सो ए बी सी इज एंगल ए बी प्लस एंगल ई बी सी प्लस एंगल सी डी ई You see, A B E plus what is A B E? A B E is ninety degree, and E B C plus C D E equal to one eighty degree. So ninety degree plus one eighty degree that gives two hundred seventy degree. Thus, by using the property of cyclic quadrilateral and angle in the semicircle, we can solve this problem. Now let's see another question. The question is: In the given figure, CP bisects angle ACB. Prove that DP bisects angle ADB. See, in this circle, we have. A C B and C P bisects the angle A C B. Now another point is there. Here it is D and D A and D B are joined. If D P is joined, D is joined to P, then we have to show that this. Two angles are to be equal. So, what is given in the circle CP bisects angle ACB, and to prove. DP bisects angle ADB. As you see here, angle PDB and angle PCB. Angle PDB is equal to Angle PCB. Why? Angles in the 
same segment. This is our equation number 1. Then we have PDA, angle PDA is equal to angle PCA, angle PCA. Why? Again, they are angles in the same segment. We have given that CP is the bisector of angle ACB. So, angle ACP is equal to angle BCP or PCB why? as BP as CP bisects angle ACB. Now this is 3. You see PDB is equal to PCB and PCB equal to ACP, ACP equal to PDA. This shows that PDB is equal to PDA. So from 1, 2 and 3 we get that angle PDB is equal to angle PDA. You see PDB equal to PDA and these two are adjacent angles these two are equal and are adjacent angles. This shows that DP bisects angle ADB. So we can write that DP bisects angle ADB. So here by using the angle in the same segment property, we could solve it. Let's have another question. Here, the question says, in the given figure, ABCD is a cyclic collateral such that AD is equal to BC. If the bisector of angle A meets BC at point E and the circle at point F, prove that EF is equal to FC and BF is equal to DF. This is the circle AD and BC are parallel. ABCD is a cyclic collateral and A bisects AF bisects angle BAD. So BAD is bisected so that it intersect BC at E and the circle at F. Now BF, CF are drawn and DF is also drawn. So here what to prove that is EF equal to CF and BF equal to DF. The construction says here is a construction that is join BD. Now let's have the proof. Now see, AD is parallel to BC and AF is the transversal. Now 
this implies angle da e is equal to angle aeb that is alternate interior angles and again this angle aeb is equal to angle cef that is vertically opposite angles so these are equal now you see angle baf angle baf is equal to angle bcf angle bcf angles in the same segment again angle baf is equal to angle f a d or d a e d a f all are same and this is why because a f bisects angle b a d now from this we can say as these two are equal b a f is equal to b c f and d a f or d a e is equal to a e b so and a e b equal to c e f so these two are equal so thus angle c e f is equal to angle b c f or b c f is same as e c f we can better write e c f so in triangle e f c as these two angles are equal so their corresponding opposite sides are also equal so in triangle e f c we can write e f is equal to f c so the first part is proved now you see here in triangle d dfb if we can prove these two angles to be equal then we can prove that bf equal to df now you see dbf angle d b f is equal to angle d a f that is angles in the same segment again the angle b d f is equal to angle b a f again due to angles in the same segment now you see d b f b a f is equal to d a f why because af bisects bad now you see baf and daf are equal so these two must be equal 
So this was the angle DBF is equal to angle BDF. These two angles are in which triangle? So in triangle BDF, if these two angles are equal, their opposite sides are also equal. So this shows in triangle BDF, we have BF is equal to DF. So we proved the second part of this question. Dear students, today we discussed about some problems which deals with the properties of the cyclic quadrilateral and some properties of the circle. Hope you understand all this. Have a good day. Thank you.